It's a Friday night blockbuster in the A-League as Melbourne City play host to the Western Sydney Wanderers, two informed teams. They're both scorching at the moment. City have won five on the bounce, while the Wanderers come here after a hat-trick of victories. Tate Russell was not that convincing. Yay! Good, trying to track it down in flight and onto the top of the bar. Was there a touch off Margush? No, there wasn't. Goal kick. It's the far right brow of Curtis Good that asked the question of the ref. I suspect that there was a touch from the keeper. Myself. No. Wanderers trying to get the press happening here and they win it back high up the pitch through Wilmering. Early service for Duke. A beanie back post and the header from Western Sydney. Absorbed all of that pressure in the opening 20 minutes. And then they show their class. Bernie Abini, didn't he rise for the emphatic header? His 34th A-League goal. And who saw this scoreline coming about five minutes ago? It's Western Sydney on top. No one saw it 30 seconds ago. But play credit to Daniel Wilmering. He's the one who read this. He's the one who pressed. He pulled the trigger. Who's coming? Great leadership from the youngster. Then he wins the ball, feeds Duke, who drops in a beautiful, beautiful cross. And Abini against Jamison is too good and too strong from that range. It's a really powerful header from Bernie Abini, himself in good form. But to say this one's against the run of the play is one of the great understatements. Then the question would have been how far off his line in protecting. That sort of ball was Tommy Glover. Moot point now, it's play on, but there's the foul. Saying, uh, just hold fire on that whistle and I was away. Free kick has been taken quickly and Daniel Margush is caught out. The equaliser for Melbourne City and Craig Noon with some quick thinking has made it 1-1 and taught Daniel Margush a lesson. A bit going on between the two coaches. Harking back to Carrow Road days as the Norwich City midfielder of yesteryear goes on with the former Leicester City hard man at the back. Berenguer. Craig Noon as the seagulls scatter. Across the face and chested home by Andrew Naboot. When he plays for Melbourne City this season, they win. And he's given them the lead just seven minutes after half time. Atkinson flew into that 50 50 against Wilmering. Now in the boot with power out in front of Craig Noon. Melbourne City make it three. Two quick fire goals. Craig Noon has his first brace down under, and they are making another statement tonight. Melbourne City on track for six wins straight. Melbourne City looking vulnerable, but there's such a threat going the other way. And the boots. Oh, whacked into Nata. Has to be a free kick. Nata is out cold, is he? It's play on. And now Melbourne City stringing the passes together. Noon on a hat trick. Teammate picked out. The goal stands. Adrian Luna makes it four. But should the goal stand, Andy Harper? Well, there might be a question of offside firstly, but. Mark Natto got nutted. Oh, I can't see how that's not a foul. I'm sorry, Brenton. Anyway. It uh, looks like it'll be offside against Adrian Luna, presumably. Oh, he, he's a really sick boy. So it's not for the foul in the lead up on the boot on Natta, which would have stopped everything. It's for offside that this goal does not stand. Margush punches clear. McLaren thumps it in and he does continue the streak. 92nd minute, but J Mac makes it six games in a row with a goal and goes past Archie Thompson on the all time list. It's goal number 91 in his A-League career. Well, the last effort on goal was just a, an appetizer. McGowan of the Dylan variety who closed him down, but on this occasion, Margush punches clear. 
McLaren's free. It's a beautiful half volley. Like, how hard is this to do? From a reasonable height, the ball drops, and he just got the technique absolutely right. Melbourne City are the best team in the land right now, and they've got the form striker as well. Jamie McLaren with 12 in 12 to go all-time third on the A-League goal scorers charts. But his teammates did most of the damage early. Craig Noon with his first brace down under.